hello it's Sarah and I just wanted to check in with you guys I've been busy playing around with a lot of different things um, but nothing that's really it's kind of I'm searching this year for my own style and what it is really that I'm gonna um, continue to do definitely but see the clay I love clay so I think I will continue to do clay it's just that I'm kind of in other mediums right now so I will get back to the clay for sure I have projects I definitely want to get back to but that being said I am at the moment I'm taking a class this year with Joanne Sharp um, it's the artfully inspired life 2016 and this is my um, art journal for that I have several journals going at the moment which is something new for me I've never done art journaling before um, but I'm very much I want to continue it so I'm I've been um, on a journey with that I'm trying to learn what it is that my art journal will be like I mean there's so many as you guys know um, so um, what I've been up to is okay so we did last time I don't know if it was my last video but we made these ATC's remember out of watercolor paper and my Tombow markers and I have been loving these actually there I also have the distress markers and if you guys have distress markers you can do the same things that I've been doing with my Tombows um, with the distress markers so um, they're just water-based markers that you can um, play around with so uh, one of you guys or a couple of you guys actually mentioned oh why don't you make some bookmarks so of course I did that and this is just watercolor paper with Tombow markers and actually all my black lines on here is a Sharpie one of these guys the ultra fine Sharpies work great with this because they're permanent so um, I love them I love these I actually um, I think it was in the back of my mind anyway because I got this bookmark from Alicia Hart art when I ordered my kit my metal um, embossing kit and it's got all of her information on the back which I love and I think for me I would probably just print out some stickers and then I can just put at least my um, Etsy store and my email address or something back there. There's some information, some personal information. Um, but I just sign them and put a little heart. But I could put these in my packages when I have things on Etsy, which I don't at the moment. But that's a thing. This is part of the journey I'm on at the at, at the moment. I think, um, like I said, figuring out what it is that I want to want to create. Um, I've tried so many things. I think I'm. Uh, I know I won't be doing some things, but I also will definitely be re revisiting some things, too. So, uh, that being said, okay, I say that a lot. That being said, um, this is my journal, the Artfully Inspired Life Journal. Um, finished, we did a table of contents. I have to recommend, this is pretty good. Um, it's not an everyday journal that I'm going to be going into every day. She has particular lessons that we're going to do in here that are set up on a monthly basis so for January we're pretty good we're, we've done our alphabet our mantra and our journaling spots so every month there's going to be a lesson um, that goes in that journal and then uh, that's that but I actually have these little guys these are the Strathmore visual journals and I have the mixed media paper which is what kind? It's a vellum finish cotton. And this is watercolor, cold pressed watercolor, heavyweight paper, um, 140 pound. So um, I grabbed my mixed media one, even though I should have grabbed the watercolor one, which it's fine. It worked just fine in here. But I've been going to these more I've been going to this one more which is this is just a sketchbook a little sketchbook more than this one now this is my um, holy cow I forget the dog on name what is it called a mole skin eh? <laughs> the mole skin right and this is a, a sketchbook basically or it's a travel journal a travel journal meant for writing in I'm pretty sure but you could doodle and things like that in here um, it's a medium 
weight paper, I would say. Uh, and it holds up fairly well for the media I've been doing in here. Um, I have definitely done some collage, a lot of uh, painting, a lot of paint, a lot of st um, stenciling with paint. Um, like again, collage. Uh, this is some like, ooh, I'm going to paint over this page. This is just, I was playing with my metallic paints and different other uh, media modeling paste and stuff. But for the most part, I haven't been inspired to put anything in here lately. That's the only thing. And I know you guys liked my journal pages and I appreciate that. Uh, and I hope, like, I love this page. I love it. It's super fun. But this brings me to something else I've been working on. I'm going to make another video after this and share that. So I was going to, so I haven't been going to this one as much. And like I said, instead, these are, this is that Maya did that one. Um, this is where I'm kind of playing with ideas. So if I think of something and I want to maybe do a canvas or something, I come in here first and I start, I just put my ideas down. Like here's my little chickens that I did in this little book. Here's my little chickens. So I was just drawing them out, figuring out what I want to do. The cats, I was just kind of sketching the cats that I did my cat uh, canvas with, some Zenspiration. So you see what I mean. So this is just, oh, this is when I took that class with, what is her name? The Journal Soup, Kate, Kate Crane. Um, we were sketching with actual sketching pencils and or uh, regular color pencils. So um, I don't know. Just this is where I'm tending to. Oh gosh, look at that! What the heck? Just different kind of characters. Um, and then I get into my lettering. Oh, I even put the patterns for when I did my uh, metal embossing. These are the designs that I created to emboss. All right, so that's, I tend to just grab this one more often and put any ideas I'm having in here. And I don't really share those with you guys. Um, that's more for, it's a, it's a part of the process for me to figure out where I'm going to go with something. So when I'm, when I get, when I sit down to work on the piece, I know where I'm going. I have an idea. Um, so, okay, so I grab, like I said, I grabbed the mixed media one to play with my Tombows, re not realizing I should have grabbed the watercolor one, but it worked fine. This paper is actually really not bad for um, the Tombow markers, the watercolor markers. Um, this is, I did like three or four things in here. So this one is based on the piece that she did for our... Um, the class, right? The only thing is, it's the colors. And that's the thing. I am not a designer yet. Like, I, I don't know enough about color. Like, I know I love pink and orange, so that's why I went with pink and orange. But I don't think it pops enough. Like, she, hers was blue. Her flower was blue. And I just thought, well, I don't, I like pink better. <laughs> I love my lettering. For some reason, my lettering turned out fantastic, and I never love my lettering. And you guys might not love it, but I happen to love my lettering on that one. And it's cute, you know? And it's just, I just did this little border uh, to kind of frame it. And then I did this one, and this was just obviously based on the little ATCs I made, but I wanted to do, just keep, because I've cut them all apart. Every one that I've done, I cut apart. So I did this with my Tombow markers and actually a Sharpie. I think I said that already. Um, this one, eh, again, I, I'm too much of a heavy hand, I think. Like, there's too much saturation of color. Like, I can probably lighten up a lot more. So this is all a learning process. Then I'm act I actually saw another video. See the cross hatching? I don't know if you can see that. I'll show you another piece I did, but that is CC. What is her? I can't think of her YouTube channel. I'll put it in the description box and I'll, I'll link you to some of her doodling pages that are amazing. This is based on something that CC did. So see here, this is it, the cross hatching. See the cross hatching? That's how she shaded her doodles. And I just loved how that looked and had to try it. 
And these two, I'll zoom back up again, but these two are based on a piece that she did. So for some reason, I thought I was gonna try two different, because these are done with my Ink Tense pencils and water. And I just felt like making two. I wanted to see the difference, like have more to work with and play with anyway. Um, but yeah, she's a great artist. She's French Canadian. I love her accent, it's so cool. Um, and she vlogs a little bit. You guys know who I mean. So yeah, so that's basically that. Oh, but then I did grab the watercolor finally and just, I did another one of them. And I was so tired. But I did do some like cross hatching. See the cross hatching on some of the flowers? I don't think I did that on this one. But I just was, I'm trying to figure, like I said, figure out my style. What I like. Oh, I did cross hatching on that too. All right, so I think there's one more thing I wanted to show you. These pencils. I ended up getting these just after Christmas, and I actually went in for a 36-pack of um, the Prismacolors, and they, they were out of stock because it was just after Christmas, but I had a 55% off coupon, so because they're like $80, you know, and I thought, perfect, you know. They were out of them, and I was just like, hmm. I almost ordered them on Amazon, but then I thought, am I, do I even really use them that much that I need to have this, you know, because you need 36. That's the thing. You see, I kind of, where did I put it? But I tried blending a little bit. I haven't really played with these yet. Where the heck did I put it? Um, but they write really nice. So I will be playing with these, I hope. But they were $16. So I'm pretty happy. Like, first of all, that I am not pushing very hard. And I'm getting good color, good um, coverage, you know. And let's see if that blends at all. I'm pushing too hard because, I, you know, you have to be light-handed, and I am not light-handed. But I'm hoping these work. I don't use, I don't, I'm not a professional pencil person, so I just wanted to be able to play, like, in my coloring books or something, if I ever do pick up a coloring book. Did that blend? Eh, I don't know. But this just at least gives me more options. Um, and that, and also, if Maya wants to play with me, my granddaughter, I'm not flipping out because she's breaking my points because she's pushing too hard and stuff. And I know the Prismacolors do have, um, they do that. They break quite a bit. So, for now, I will use these until I master pencil. Um, but that's what I'm doing. So, thank you guys for watching and... Um, I appreciate it. Listen, I don't know if I mentioned this, but boy, I don't need the comments about my sniffing. My sniffing, I sniff. I mean, we all sniff. Why do you have, put, oh, the sniffing? Ugh, don't like that. Why? I mean, th now you're going to thumbs down me because I mentioned that I don't like sniffing. Like, it's just, I mean, that I don't like you not liking my sniffing. Anyway, um, I try to be myself upbeat I'm not that professional but hey you know what it is what it is so all right you guys um for the most part though you're all so wonderful to me as you know um and I appreciate it all right you guys thanks for watching